Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will be sharing a completely free method to put your checkmate devices, meaning A11 and lower devices, into pawn DFU mode so that you can use future restore and such utilities. You can do it right on your Windows machine. We will be using this new iPhone 1X 2.0 ISO, which uses Gaster, which means that it will be fast and reliable. You will need a blend etcher to flash this ISO file onto a USB flash drive. You can get Plan Etcher from its official website. It is completely free and then download it for your Windows machine. You can find the link to this ISO file in a pinned comment. So when you have downloaded these both, right click and open Plan Etcher as an administrator. Now when Plan Etcher is open, simply plug in a USB flash drive and then click select image. Now select the ISO file that you have downloaded and click open. Now simply click this flash button. All right, so when this process is complete, you will see one successful device flash complete. Now you will have to restart your computer. Otherwise, when you restart your computer, go to your boot manager by pressing F9 or F12, depending on your computer's manufacturer. And then you'll find the USB that you have created. Now press enter on it and let the iPhone DFU load. All right, now you will see this screen. Now to enter iPhone DFU on your checkmate devices, now press Alt and F2. If it is not working for you, you can press Fn, Alt and F2. Now you will see this message. Now get your checkmate device into DFU mode. Also, if you see this trust message, hit on trust. And now I will get this device into DFU mode. All right, so my device is now in DFU mode. Simply, I will press enter here and you can see it is fast and easy and reliable. You will see now you can boot untrusted images. So now you are good to go and then you can use future restore and such utilities on your device. After you are done, you can simply restart your computer by pressing Control Alt Delete and then you can remove the USB and your computer should load back into Windows. All right, that's all for this video, guys. If you still have questions, please ask in the comment section. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye.